Catholic Pope visiting the Jewish Holy Land. It's a trip no part of has taken in 36 years. Joining us today, first at four, to discuss the significance of this pilgrimage, Father Neil O'Connor, pastor of St. Stephen of Hungary Church in Manhattan, and Rabbi Yaakov Spivak, dean of the Eichel Abraham Rabbinical Seminary, the dean there. And gentlemen, thank you very much Good for being here with us today. Uh, let's we'll start off with you here, since this is the Catholic Pope making the trip right here. What's the reason for him doing this, and what does this mean to your congregation here in New York? Uh, I think it's doing out of a very profound personal religious experience himself. And he goes a personal program, but he brings the rest of us and the whole Catholic community with him as a pilgrim to the Holy Land at this time and to Israel. And I think the importance is that he wants to get us back in this year of Jubilee, mm -hmm. like in Leviticus 25, when we have a chance to go home and get back to our Jewish roots and get back to what it means to be a son and daughter of Abraham and rediscover those roots. And also to bring us to a sense of responsibility for any ways we have uh, destroyed or disfigured those roots in our midst and with our Jewish brothers and sisters. Rabbi Spivak, uh, a moment ago we, we ran a piece and we had a, a, a quick interview with uh, Mayor Lau, the uh, chief uh, rabbi of Israel, and he said, oh, this is a wonderful start, but there's, there's more to it. I, is there more and what should it be? Stephen, you're talking about 2,000 years of very emotional, complex relationships where the Catholic Church felt it was their divine responsibility to convert Jews, and the Jews felt that they were suffering from what was supposed to have been a sort of brother. And so you can't undo all of this emotional feeling, all this writing, all of this uh, expressions in the prayers of both religions that show uh, hostility without... Uh, uh, with just a wave of a magic wand. This is the stuff of novels. It's a very complex relationship. But is this a, a good start? It's a start, but you have uh, you have a lot of, as the chief rabbi Lau of Israel was saying, you have a lot of issues to deal with here, a lot of different things. Uh, the, the Pope made a wonderful start today. I, I acted as a translator for, uh, for the president of Israel's words to him. And uh, the Pope did a wonderful thing with that. The Pope also wishes to uh, uh, deify or, or uh, actually be beatify Pius XII. And that's a problem to the Jews because on your own network, CBS, you did something on 60 Minutes that shows the problems that Pius XII had, and he is not addressing those things. So as much as it's a happy uh, start, there's a lot to be done. Mm -hmm. Father O'Connell? Yeah, and I, I think it's uh, going to take a lot of good effort, a lot of sweat, a lot of uh, energy. But on the other hand, there's kind of this sense of all deliberate speed. And I think there's an urgency that he has that's going to make Catholics more urge urgent to work for this. He hasn't put a limit on where we can go. And already people like Archbishop uh, Weakland in, um, in Milwaukee, even our own parish, we have gone beyond what he said. And we are saying we have had a real moral responsibility of the community for what has been done to the Jewish community over 2,000 years. Well, here in New York, I mean, we're in a unique situation where we probably have the largest uh, population of Jews and Catholics living together anyway. Mm -hmm. This is something that has been going on here for a while, long before the Pope started this. Or, or has it enough of it? I think it has. And part of it is just the American situation. I think the American situation does have a uniqueness about it that other cultures don't have, and it forces us to become more understanding of one another because of some of the basic principles of our republic. Uh, we're not always good at it, but we feel that we can do better at it. This is the, uh, today is the Jewish holiday of Purim. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I brought it, you some comments. Yes, uh, the Father wished me a happy <laughs> Purim. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I, I will see the kosher bark on it and we'll talk about it. But, um, you know, Purim is, a, is an incredible time. Great mm -hmm. miracles mm -hmm. happen. Yes. People, uh, peoples of the world and the powers of the world stop taking the Jews for granted. And great miracles happen. And I thought it was so apropos mm -hmm. that the Pope stepped onto the holy soil on Purim, mm -hmm. and if any time miracles can happen, it's today. Well, we we'll hope yeah. it works out for him. And I want to thank you both for being here. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We're going to appreciate have to your kindness. Thank you. Father, Rabbi, thank you for stopping by and visiting us today. And happy Purim also to you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, coming up next at four, those teenage years.